Today on Roz's office, we're doing a try not to laugh challenge. We have four professional comedians Ooh. and five beautiful models. Each comedian gets two minutes to make the girls laugh. And if they spit out their water, they are eliminated. One laugh is equal to one point, and the comedian with the most points wins the funniest of all time trophy. Let's get started. All right, I've called all you here today because I want to talk to y'all about some that's been on my mind. We got to do something about all these damn dick pics people are sending out, okay? I got one. Look at me. I look like the dad from The Fresh Prince. I shouldn't be getting no dick pics at my age, man. But they sent me one, and it wasn't even no good dick. I've seen Brazzers. I know what good dick looks like. It was like baby dick. It should have counted as child porn, y'all. <laughs> it was just, it was like, it was little. It was like, and then he tried to pull back on it. It was like this, like, and he tried to pull back on it. And I said, you can't make that look bigger, bro. That's a Vienna sausage, no matter how you slice that. So then, and then it was worse. Like, he didn't even say something to me. It was like 5 o'clock in the morning. I woke up to go to make pee-pee. And then this nigga done sent me a dick pic. And he didn't even say, hey, good morning, beautiful. How you doing? <laughs> None of that. He just, like, here's my dick. I looked at my Instagram for two hours. I'm trying to figure out what on my Instagram made this dude say, I bet he wants to see my little baby dick. I would need to know what's going on. Girl, you can't be drooling like that. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> She let a little water drool out of her. Hey, we got one. It looked, man, it looked like she was at the Special Olympics for a second. I felt bad for her. But yeah, now this dude done saving his dick. And I'm like, what do I do? It's 5 o'clock in the morning, and this is my first dick pic. I can't get this wrong. I don't want him to send me more. So I Googled a picture of Randy Jackson. <laughs> Y'all know Randy Jackson from American Idol? I did. I found this picture of him going, that's a no for me, dog. And Definitely a no for me, dog. The voice is just not. And that's what I said him. <laughs> because I was like, I got to stop these pics before they, because I know y'all be getting them like crazy. So then after he sent the pic, I figured out something. This is how I became a feminist. Uh, <laughs> he sent me the pic, and then I hit my homegirl up, and I said, girl, you're not going to believe this. And I sent her the dick pic that he sent me. And then she pulled me into a group chat with the other homegirls, right? And they roasted this fool for like a solid hour. And I wrote down all them jokes. And then they were like, who sent you this dick pic? And then I sent them his profile. And this is why I know women are dangerous. Because they went and found this nigga after I sent him his profile. And they roasted him off of Instagram, man. And at that moment, I was like... Wakanda forever, sisterhood. I'm down. Whatever y'all want to do, ladies, I support it. I, this is what makes me, I 100% don't care what the government says. I don't care what the, anybody says. I 100% support a woman's right to do whatever the f she wants to do with her body. Okay? Yeah. Always. And if you got to do, and he doesn't agree with that, that's because that nigga's never fucked a stripper in Vegas and had to wait a week on a period. You <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm going to tell you the story. See, I got seven kids, right? And uh, yeah, I'll be f I know when you saw me come in the room, you were like, oh, he chocolate. Girl, I'm full of nut. Uh, I'm like Rocky Road up in this. B so I have seven kids and like four black and Mexican. So I'll be calling them the Blexicans, right? But, but I, I used to call them the Mexilax, but their mom hated that. She was like, that sounds like a Spanish suppository. Don't be calling our babies no Mexilax. And I said, okay, you right. And here's the thing. So I was married to a black woman. And then I was married to a Mexican woman. And then I f***ed up and I married a white lady. And then that's when I found out I'm the problem. That sh hurt my feelings. I'm in therapy behind it. How the f*** am I the Bobby Brown in every relationship? That's some bull****. So here's why I say I f***ed up when I married the white lady. Because she would always say really weird sh to me like, oh my God, you're my blessing from God. And I was like, God may hate you if I'm the blessing. You might need to try Satan and see if he'll upgrade you to Idris Elba or some sh but now she stayed with me like she stayed with me after the kids had left i didn't even understand that and then my daughters they're like your age and they always be saying weird sh to me now that i'm divorced they're like dad you know you're gonna start dating don't be out there being a f boy and i didn't know what that was so i had to google it and then i found out it means i'm gonna hang out with two dudes named Chaz and tyler <laughs> and i'm gonna have to start vaping and <laughs> I'm going to play a lot of Call of Duty, and that's not even a good game. I'd rather play Animal Crossing, but I got to play Call of Duty. And then... <laughs> Are you dead on the inside? What's going on? We need post-game commentary. We need post-game commentary. I like inappropriate humor, and it just wasn't quite inappropriate enough. 
Yo, I have immigrant parents. Hell yeah. <laughs> I went to go visit my dad last week, but I have immigrant parents. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to open up to my dad more, but you can't tell them everything, right? Immigrant parents came here with no internet, no English. Your sadness. I try to tell my dad, I think I'm depressed. He's like, well, if you became a doctor, you'd know for sure. <laughs> my mom's like, she wants me to get arranged marriage. She sends me a curated list of brown girls every Saturday morning. She's like, give me grandchildren. I'm trying to fall in love, not raw dog random Pakistani women. <laughs> Nice, nice. My mom's like, yo, Ibad, I know you, you know? Listen, mom, you know I'm not a devout Muslim. You don't know that I microdose acid and go on hikes. I'm a whitewashed brownie. <laughs> I get butter chicken at Trader Joe's. <laughs> trying to f white girls. I've been trying to find a girl, though. But every girl is polyamorous. What happened to ruining one person's life, you know what I mean? And people are like, Ibad, don't you just get 72 versions in heaven? Me plus 72 versions. Now we just got 73 versions. My parents got an arranged marriage. It was easy for them, you know what I mean? But they got married seven days after they met. True story. My dad met my mom, they got married. He brought her to America. Plus he was 10 years older, so it's more like a child kidnapping, you know what I mean? Seven days to get to know somebody, seven day return policy. Costco has 90 days. All right, that's it. <laughs> Listen, man, I was rooting for you. You got two points out of that whole thing. They got poker faces. Sorry, I'm doing a Kegel exercise. Um, <laughs> this is nice. This is like the Avengers, if it was just all the girls that made fun of me in high school. This is really fun. This is great. Don't spit it out. Don't do it. You guys all look like you would swallow. That is pretty funny. <laughs> This is nice. My dad's kind of gay. <laughs> what? My other dad, he's really gay, that guy. <laughs> yeah, that guy's gay. <laughs> I wish I was gay sometimes, you know? Probably make, make having sex with guys more fun, I would think. <laughs> right now, it just seems like a chore, you know? I don't know. My girlfriend hates that I'm here, so. And it's your fault. Every one of you. Was Jacques funny? <laughs> No, I don't know. I, uh, I'm pro-Israel. <laughs> it's not like a politics thing. I just, I got money on it, so I figure it's a good bet. I don't know. My girlfriend, she's deaf, and, uh... <laughs> Why is that funny? The fu You're lucky she's not here to not hear that, you piece of shit. <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> you guys, uh... You guys like anime? Do you? What do you, what do you watch? <laughs> you're out, you're out. You just, just come on. <laughs> Keep going, Jack. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know, you know, I just turned 26. You know what they say, you know, you know what they say when you turn 26? Say, happy birthday. <laughs> Happy 26th birthday, Jack. You did it. <laughs> you don't have any water in your mouth anymore. All right, that's two points. And I say the same thing back every time, you know? I think, I think my, my biggest fear right now as I get older and my hairline recedes is just someone publicly accusing me of being a pedophile, you know? Scary. Like, that, that guy is a pedophile. <laughs> what? No, I'm Yo. kidding. Is it, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Isn't, isn't that scary? You see? <laughs> hey, that's my man. That's what I'm saying. It's scary. You got no defense for it. You're just like, no. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I feel like we got off track. Just I'm pointing at the camera to all the pedophiles watching this at home. <laughs> you know, in, in France, they call a quarter pounder with cheese a royale with cheese, right? It's like uh, Pulp Fiction. You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in China? Oh, it's a quarter pounder with cheese. Racism. Didn't work. All right. Guys, put more water in your mouth. That's not going to help. <laughs> it will. It will. It will. Your cheeks have to be... She drank the water. 
didn't even pour any more in. Spit it out. Prove it. All right. She's out. <laughs> <You're> out. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm playing the game, baby. All right, Jack, you got 30 seconds left. I got 30. I feel like I've done. A, all right, well. That was right. cheating. That's okay. Cheating. Also, he has way more fucking hair than you do. <laughs> All right, you're out. Let's chill out right now. It's cool. What do you What do you do for What do you do for a living? I would guess, but it hurt your feelings. Um, <laughs> you're probably a very nice person, uh, guys. I work out a lot, you know. And people look at me, and I don't want to peel the curtain back at all right now. But I'm not that good at sex, and I know you're probably looking at me. You're like, no, what? This guy, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not bad. Like, I was hooking up with a girl one time, and she, she said, oh, what are you going to do to me? And I said, I'm going to do, I'm going to do my best, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do my best. All right, is that 30 seconds? What do you want? So you give it up for him. <laughs> but the water just, just, you guys were holding on to it, like. For life. I'm not gonna let this shit feel like a slave auction. Like I'm, like, <laughs> like I'm trying to sell one of y'all off. Who do you think we get the most money? I don't know. Mm. Not you. It's definitely not you. <laughs> definitely not the loud mouth one at all. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh, my name is Jacques Noir. Z S A K N O R. I'm gonna spell it one more time because folks are dyslexic out here. Uh, Z S A K. You're the dyslexic one. All right. How you got all them tats on then? Can you spell? No, nah, I'm not gonna do that to you. <laughs> Z S A K N O R. I'm from Louisiana. Not Creole. I'm not Cajun. My parents were just drunk playing Scrabble. All right. <laughs> I used to be like a huge like 50 Cent fan growing up. You remember like in the club 50 Cent? Yeah, I had like the huge like poster. Like, you know, remember like the in the club poster every dude had like in their dorm? Like I had that shit, I was love 50 Cent. But then like one day it disappeared. I know I couldn't get it back because I thought my brother had stole it, but it was just next to my mom's dildo. I could <laughs> It was mad wet. I was like, I can't hang this shit back up. I can't hang this shit back up at all. Yeah, and that's what. <laughs> And that's when I became like a Black Eyed Peas fan. Cause ain't nobody masturbating to what I am. It's just not happening. You don't, no, this is not happening. Mm-mm. <laughs> what are y'all about to swallow? <laughs> mm. Just swallow the water and let's see. Like you get another mon- minute and 30. Let's try that. You can swallow it. Y'all mind if I get serious with y'all for a second? Just like a little serious. All right. So my granddad died like a few years ago. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I like wear his dog tag around because um, he gave it to me. Well, actually. <laughs> you're out, you're out, Haley. And so he gave it to me while I was in, my grandma gave it to me while I was in college and that like, kind of like meant a lot to me because I was like, damn, like my grandparents actually split up like decades ago. So I was like, damn, my grandma still cares for my granddad enough to keep his dog tag around because he like, he fought in Korea, right? It was like meant a lot to me. And then I recently went back to my grandma's house and then realized she was just a hoe Cause she had like eight other dog tags around. I was like, who are these niggas? Like, it was dog tags from all different wars. One of them was from Iraq, the other one was from Vietnam. She had a dog tag on from the war on drugs. I'm like, how do we, how'd you even get that? That, that was a theoretical war. <laughs> Did someone do a fake ha-ha in the van? <laughs> Where y'all from? Te- Texas. Austin. Yeah. Y'all all from Austin? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. How you all the way down here? I live here. That's not the question. <laughs> <It's> not. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go. She, she thought she had the biggest poker face. <laughs> so, okay, all y'all, three of y'all from Texas. Where, like, Austin. Austin. Kyle. Uh, I'm from San Antonio. <laughs> you said that. You have a very San Antonio way of saying that when you, it was more like LA-ish. That's what everyone says. They think I'm from California, but I'm not. Oh, I don't like you. Anyway, uh, uh, so you're the loud one. You're the quiet one. You like quiet or you like? It depends. It depends? Yeah, who I'm around. She crazy. You're the crazy one? Depends. So there's drunk you and then there's sober you. Right, but I'm sober right now. You're like a gremlin, like, right? Like, I'm like two months sober. You're two, oh, hey, clap it up for her. She's two months sober, y'all. Uh, clap it up. And that's, that's your time. <laughs> After four rounds of intense comedy, we have a unanimous decision for the guy with four points. Kotsuki! <laughs> how, 
how do you how do you feel about this trophy right now? Well, I want to thank my mama and my daddy for getting it on and giving birth to me, and I want to thank uh, systematic racism for making me funny, and uh, I want to thank the models for being fine. That's all I got. <laughs>